Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another technology video. Today I'll be talking about setting up a VM to actually do secure web browsing. So for this example, I'll say use VirtualBox, which you can use from virtualbox.org. And virtualization is basically the process of actually running a different operating system on top of your current main operating system. So your current main operating system, in this case, of course, would be Windows 10, while the guest operating system will be Linux for this example. As you can see here, you can actually use VirtualBox on a Windows Linux OS or even Solaris host machine. So once you download VirtualBox and install it, you then need to find a guest virtual machine to use. So for this example, I use Lubuntu, which you can get from Lubuntu.net. So once you do that, you then go ahead and create a new machine. So in this example, I call it Lubuntu. And boom, recognizes as being a Linux distro. Go to next. Ah, because it already oh, oh, it already saw that. So I'll go ahead and cancel that. Call it as Red Hat. Boom, it automatically sees it as a Red Hat distro. Just when we type in red, so look for keywords. Hit next. And also make sure that you keep it as 30 bit system. Tell okay, I need to have plenty of RAM. Hit next. And here you create a virtual machine. Recommend make it eight gigs. And this of course will be your .vdi file. And .vdi files, not to get messed up, the ISO files will be this. So for this example, I've already created the Lubuntu.vdi. And I actually download the Lubuntu.iso, which is the actual CD-ROM slash DVD-ROM image that I got from here. So you see that, boom, that's your .iso file that I downloaded earlier. And since I don't want to bore you guys with the whole installation process, I'll just talk about the .vdi file, which I have here. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and boot up, or sorry, I'll go into the settings, which you'll also be working on while you're doing your setup. So I'll go to system, make sure it's set up with plenty of RAM. Make sure the boot order is set up properly, so you have your hard drive first, since the optical disk has already been done. And this up, you want the optical disk to be done first, so then you move the arrows around and switch the order. But since it's already done, don't worry about it. Make sure these two boxes are checked. Make sure you enable PAE NX. Storage, of course, will be set to your .vdi file under, under your hard drive area. This, of course, will be your ISO image, but since it's already done, you don't need to worry about it. And of course, to find an ISO image, you click here, and you guys should choose an optical disk drive image, or ISO image. Just call it early, but since that's already been done, don't worry about it. Make sure to set the NET. Make sure you have enabled network adapter checked. Also make sure cable connect is also checked. At this point, you then start your OS and let it boot like you would with a regular system. And since it's kind of going on in the background, I'm gonna close that. Because I don't want to say chuffing away resources needlessly. You also know this little message will pop up once everything is booted. So get rid of messages, click off of them. At this point, I go ahead and type my password in. And for obvious reasons, X'd out. Hit login. It's going to freak out like it didn't log me in the first time. And then it'll go to my actual desktop. All right, as you can see here, I had to scroll down just to different resolutions on this laptop. Then I go to that version of the start menu, go to internet and Firefox, let it open up and I should be all good to go. All right, it's up and running. And since I'm on a Linux machine, I'll do a quick Google search for a Linux. Hit enter. So now I'm in a web browser. I can go to any Linux site I want to, even if it's someone trying to troll me with some hacker site virus and blah, blah, blah. They'll say, hey, I'm going to install a virus in your Windows machine. Oh, wait a minute. This is a Linux machine, and it is not going to work. So therefore, my system is now safe. I can go to what do web browsing all day long without any issues. 
The only problem with this being a VM is the fact that there actually will be some latency issues because this is actually virtualized in basic pieces of hardware. So yeah, you're not gonna get the full speed as you would if it was a real site, which are real operating system, but still it's better than nothing and you get the bare minimum to actually look at websites. You stream videos with some slight choppiness, but other than that, you should be fine. And actually, to improve your performance, what you probably want to do is make sure you actually do your VM work on a machine with at least 8 to 16 gigs of RAM. That way, you can pretty much be sure that everything will load up pretty fast and you won't have any issues. That being said, now I'm actually on a Linux website or the server could have been slow because normally, your VM should not make your browser go that slowly. So as you can see here, once the page loads up, I can pretty much go down to it and read stuff on the site like it's normal. So I'll just give you a little idea of some of the new stuff going on in Linux. <laughs> We're not related before you ask. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that basically ends this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please rate, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, leave feedback for checking this out on a different network. Thank you and goodbye.